documentary I, I feel in the coming years is um, I know Alex spoke about virtual realities and um, you know, I think there's some great opportunities within that but I, I, I really feel that there's, there's lots still to be done with um, you know, second screen opportunities within uh, interaction. Um, you know, there's we've, we've just seen a, a few examples in the interactive pitching um, about some examples within that, and I think, but it's it's really just trying to um, to get a quality extension to what you see as a linear television program, and I think the difficulty is is, is actually getting. Um, a good experience on a second screen um, as opposed to just getting extra content on a screen for the sake that you can just get it there in the first place. So for me I think there's just, in the, in the next few years I think there just should be better iterations of second screen experiences really. I think it's, you know, with, with television and connected television, I, mm -hmm. I think Again, because you've got multiple devices, you've got you know you've got okay. you've got mobile, you've got tablet, you've got laptop, okay. um, you've got television, the connected thing. It's it's really looking at what you're trying to put on those particular screens. So for okay. this, for education on connected TVs, you've really got to look at actually because it's a lean back experience with okay. television. Is it that type of format that you're trying to get across to that? You know, to, to educate in a certain way. And if, if you're educating certain demographics, mm -hmm. it's the certain demographics that watch. You know, lean back experiences. Mm -hmm. And I think it. Again, I think yes, there, there'll be opportunities to do that. But I think it's more content specific, and the content of where you put those things is mm -hmm. is relevant to which platform you put that on. Be it mobile, tablet, laptop, or connected TV. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ultimately it can be a place for that, but related around to the content that you want to put there. Mm -hmm. Meta Studio is a, in an innovation program that we started three years ago in 2012, mm -hmm. and um, and again it's it's that partnership between our marketing and audiences mm -hmm. team and research and development. So if you see research and development in the BBC as a as a, an element that looks at the future, around about five to eight years mm -hmm. away, whereas the BBC products, the, the areas of the BBC that are doing things here and now, um, we're, we're, we sit between the two, so we're in the nearer term innovation. So it's all about working with the different elements or departments of the BBC, um, creating briefs, and these briefs are, are then published to the point that we, we want to get um, the best people to come in with the best ideas to investigate these briefs, and ultimately we want to go through a programme of activity to get to actually um, build some pilots to test these ideas and um, they can come from within the internal side of the BBC from the ideas or they can very much more often than not come from externals and this is where we, we open up that opportunity to, to work with the BBC from um, Indies from wherever they are in the world as well. BBC Taster is something that launched in January of, mm -hmm. of this year, 2015, and um, it's, it, it's, it's a product that's, that's been realised out the back of what we've done with Connected Studios. So in creating all of these innovative pilots, they didn't necessarily have a home to actually put these things because they're technically test things to innovate in. There's never been necessarily a home within the BBC that we can actually house these. So BBC Taster now becomes a platform where we can actually um, host and test these ideas in front of a, a public audience. So it's about trying it from the audience perspective, it's about rating it, and it's about that opportunity to share that idea as well. And each of the ideas has um, you know, some bespoke questioning around that so that the audience can feed into. But then ultimately, um, we can capture all that data with the analytics around those sorts of things from the audience. And paired with what the commissioners are looking for, we can, you know, we can see where the appetite is from the audience to actually, is that a good idea? Should we do more of those sorts of things? So it's really just a nice home to be able to test and really expose what the BBC is doing behind the scenes. So now it's a nice platform to see the stuff that's not finished. It's not 100%. Things might break. But it's, it's now showing the BBC in, in a nice vein to showcase the pilots that we're actually doing to test it. Younger generations want something more than just 
TV programme because they're, they're, they're born with digital devices, they have access to mobiles, tablets, etc. So any way that you can extend the learning or the insight into, in, into uh, a programme uh, to get extended footage or extra interactions that makes it more compelling, then it's, it's, a, it's a massive benefit to that particular generation because sit back and leaning back and watching TV, you know, it works, but there's that always that desire and need to want more, and you can get that from platform devices.